Can I look off camera? Can I look at this guy? Can we, do I have to look into the fucking camera? Yeah, yeah. I see. Awesome! <laughs> right. As you can see here, I mean, obviously, this is definitely not just your basic illustration pencil on paper. This is an actual piece in paint. Um, and it's amazing. And so when I think of Jim McCoon's art, I don't think of something that's cut in this really small little box. Um, it's kind of like Jen's. I know that sounds really corny and cliche, but it's true. Yo, uh, this is Jim Ma Food, aka Food One, and we're at Monkey King on Melrose in Los Angeles. This is a vinyl toy store, and I'm standing in front of my mural that I painted for them for the um, Kick Drum Comics release party, which was the party for my uh, comic book coming out. Basically, this is one of the things I do as an artist. I paint murals, draw comics, do illustration work, advertising, art and um, live art, like I'm gonna do at the club tonight. There's DJs and there's visual art going on at the same time. So it's sort of like, you get the best of both, of both worlds. You get the auditory experience of like the music and being able to dance and watching DJs, but then you also get the visual of being able to watch people create live paintings and drawings and pieces of art right in front of your face. And the way I work, since my art is about music anyway, I really vibe off the music and what the DJ is doing. I just go in with blank canvases and I don't really plan it out what I'm gonna do, I just start laying down paint and then letting it dry and sort of figuring out what I'm doing as I go along. So it's like a spontaneous way of, of just doing it. And it either can work or sometimes I paint myself into a corner, literally, and I like will fuck something up and just have to repaint over it. But the cool thing is there's no rules. There's no set way of doing it. If you're a kid who's interested in doing live art, there's no step-by-step -step method of doing it. You could get you know a refrigerator box, bring it into a club and just paint it. People ask me, like, how do you do it? And I'm like, you do it however you want. There's no set rule or technique or medium you use. It's just whatever you want to do. I started drawing when I was a little kid, just like coloring and sitting in front of the TV and drawing. So I think it's just always been a part of what I do. And I just, I just never stopped, you know. I think everybody draws and then you get to a certain age where you are conscious of other people's opinions and they're like, that's not good, then you just quit drawing. But I just never quit, so it's not like I have like magical talents or whatever, it's just I just think that I just never stopped and it's become this deeply ingrained neurotic habit or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's a lot better. I usually say I'm freelance because I'm not committed to just one company or person or, or entity. It's, it's all random, weird um, stuff, which keeps it interesting because it's variety, you know. But even if I, even if when I had like my gig with Colt 45, it was, um, I was doing stuff for them and I had deadlines, but I was also doing like eight other projects at the same time. I think you could be doing something one day and then the next day you're doing like a flyer for a rock band or you're doing a t-shirt design or you're doing, you know, beer can. Most of my work is about music and the feeling and vibe of music and the feeling of like funk and hip hop sort of as an attitude and a culture. And um, I just try, to, I, I'm, I'm trying to make appealing interesting, exciting images for people to look at to sort of like brighten people's day or whatever. Like as cheesy as that sounds, like I've never really been into like 
dark gothic or dark like evil shit or whatever. I mean, I think that's funny, but I just want to like have something fun and dynamic and funky for people to look at that makes them go, oh, damn, that's cool. I want them to hear music, you know, when they see my work. It's supposed to get, convey that um, feeling. It would be to keep doing this, but have it be evolved into almost every medium that I'm interested in, which also includes animation, film, and music. You know, I would love to see my stuff actually move and be animated eventually, which I'm sort of like working on, getting that going, especially living out here in LA. Film, of course, every comic book artist wants their comic book to be turned into a film. Dude, this shit's been around since the cavemen. Yeah, we're, we're banging on sticks and like drawing on caves and Egyptians were doing hieroglyphics. You know what I mean? It's just something that humans have always done. Humans always haven't had the media and TV. So like that's the shit that I'm like, this is, we're, this is on some caveman shit. This isn't going away. You know, if you see me painting uh, Dr. Shit Eater, just know that my career is over. Or whatever Plex was, rewind to what he was saying. And if, if that is me, just, you know, you guys can call me a sellout. <laughs>